one of our favourites here. Um, he was a massive year last year, and it's capped it off again this year with the tour with Amber Lawrence. And we speak, of course, of the wonderful Travis Collins, and he joins us now. Travis, thanks for joining us again. Mate, my pleasure. Hope everyone. How's everyone going? Look, we're doing well, and as you can tell by Darren's husky little voice, he does have a little bit of a tickle in the throat. Oh, God. I know. I, I just want to get on the album doing the low notes for you, mate. <laughs> but, you know, it's funny because when I get crook in the mornings, I, I, like, I sound like Adam Harvey. I literally walk around the house going, you'll be in the bottom of a gym, but it's really, really interesting. You've had a huge year so far, and tomorrow you're heading off for Are You OK Day, and you're still an ambassador for them, and it's fantastic. So what's happening in Cairns tomorrow? Uh, so tomorrow is our National Awareness Day. It's... Um, are You OK Day, which is the national campaign um, that we compress all of our efforts into, a, into one large day of national media and we, uh, we check in with different TV stations, with radio stations, with online platforms and we just really all point our arrow in the one direction and that is to make sure that everybody tomorrow knows what Are You OK Day is and, and just generally what Are You OK is. I've been there in my life and I've also been on the other side of the fence too. It's been too late for me and oh, I wish that I checked in with somebody and asked if they were doing all right. Because sadly, um, you know, the statistics of anxiety and depression and ultimately uh, suicide in Australia, they're just, they're unacceptable. We've, we've got to start talking about it. Uh, we've got to start educating people that it, there's no shame in feeling a bit blue. We all get down and depression is it's a bloody ugly demon, you know. It's the, the fact that you don't want to talk about it, the fact that you feel silly or weak to talk about it is exactly what it's, it wants to do. But by talking about it with your mates and by reaching out and having a conversation about it, you know, there's this great old saying that my granddad used to say, is a problem shared, is a problem halved. Tomorrow is an awareness day, so you'll be able to find out all through any media of doors, find out how you can help and how you can simply just say to your neighbour, are you OK? But please be prepared when you do ask, are you OK? To put your listening ears on, just have a little listen. They just may just want to have a chat. But we want to have a chat about some music now. You've got a lot of things coming up. Uh, a bit of a party tour in October in Brisbane. Yeah. Well, I'm really, really, really stoked to be coming back for uh, Lights on the Hill out of Gatton this year. I played it last year and had a really, really great time with some great folks up there in Gatton. And uh, can't wait to get back there. That's that the first weekend of October this year. I think it's actually the last day of September. Would that be right? Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. I, I think it falls... Whatever that Saturday night is, I think it's like the thirtieth of September, maybe. Yeah, and then it drops um, into the first of October. I think you're out on the on the water somewhere on out doing the party cruise again. That's right. And then on on Sunday the first, having a bit of a party session, a lunchtime session out on the Brisbane River, which we did the first one of these in Brisbane just under a year ago I think it was December last year people had been asking me for a long time to, to bring one up to Brisbane because you know for, I've been doing them in Sydney for 10 years on the harbour down there and um, mate I, I don't know what took me so long we we put one on in, on sale back in December and it, it's the fastest selling gig I've ever done in my life okay. and um, we've probably done about three or four of them this year alone and we just have a really really great time out there on the water I think my best fans are all around the South East Queensland area I've got a massive man crush on South East Queensland I've got a Tell you, it's been so good to me. Um, I feel so blessed to be able to play that area so much. And um, every time we come up, I just hope I'm not overstaying my welcome. But um, you know, every time we come up, it, something happens that didn't happen last time, and uh, makes me want to keep coming back. Well, you needed a bigger boat. That's what you needed. So what you've gone and done is gone. Well, you know what? I might just join up with Amber Lawrence, and we might just take our own backyard, and we'll just travel all over the place. Yeah, so Amber and I are actually going to be touring uh, the back of October all the way through. We're going to be actually we're going to be playing in uh, in Brisbane at the Hamilton Hotel. And then and we're going to be Dag playing the Dag Pub, Pub out of Dagula. Yep. The one thing that amazes me more than anything, and I can't say it with any more heart, is that no matter where we turn up, I, I feel like um, the one thing that I can trade on and the one thing that I'm most proud of is the fans and the listeners and the supporters that come to my shows. And some of them just faces that I've been seeing for you know almost ten years now. So I'm talking about South East Queensland. And I've got some of my greatest supporters that, you know, I see them in the crowd and I know their names and I, I, I can remember the last time, the last show they were at. I, I know what merchandise items they own. And then right up to the brand new fans that have come along just because they've only seen the last 
the, the most recent song on, yeah. on CMC or something. And the growth over the last 12 months of the audience has been breathtaking. And I'm really humbled. And I know I can sound kind of like an idiot and a little bit a little bit big-headed to talk about it like that. But, um, you know, like I say, it, it's the work of a lot of great people. I, I just feel so lucky to be the face and the voice that's on it. And having this last 12 months that we've had just, just blows me away. And I, I just, uh, I'm so thankful for it. You were just talking about the fans there. Now, there is one of, one of your fans out there that's actually having a birthday today. And I reckon it would make her uh, whole Paige, day. Paige Savannah. It is, yes. So, are you going to join us, Big D? You can do the low grumpy <laughs> pass. Right. I think we should sing happy birthday to her. What do you reckon? You can lead yeah, us. Yeah, let's do it. I'll, I'll start it off, You ready? start us off. Go. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Paige. Happy birthday to you. Hip, hip. Hip, hip. Hey! <laughs> I'm sure there Paige will be loving that one. Anybody else who's having uh, a birthday today, happy birthday to you. And and you are right, Travis. Thank you very much to the, to the fans, not only for supporting you, but supporting the venues and the pubs and clubs and hotels that do put on the live music as well. So without the clubs and venues and the artists, we, music will die. We'll end up with a jukebox in the corner and that's what we do not want. And folks, that version of Happy Birthday to you will be available on <laughs> iTunes tomorrow. <laughs> oh, dear It's me. already up on my Spotify. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. You're too quick. And anyway, we've got to let you go. Thank you very much for joining us. All the folks out there who want to find out where Travis is, what he's doing uh, with Amber Lawrence in the Backyard Tour, all that sort of stuff. Hop onto his Facebook and his website, all that sort of stuff. There's no way you cannot find out what's going on. So let's play your song now, right now. <laughs> this is Our Backyard with Amber Lawrence and the man himself, Travis Collins. Thanks, Travis. I see.